Martin Shkreli is a genius, and here's why. For those of you that don't know, Martin Shkreli is a 32-year-old former hedge fund manager turned pharmaceutical company CEO. And he's been causing quite a stir online since it was revealed his company Turing acquired the US rights to the drug Daraprim, which treats toxoplasmosis and subsequently raised the price from $13.50 a pill to $750 a pill. A move that sparked national outrage and has given Shkreli uh, excuse me, the unofficial title of the world's most hated man. Scruddy is now the poster child for capitalist greed, and on the surface it's easy to understand why. After all, he is taking advantage of desperate suffering victims whose last chance of survival has been taken away from them by a greedy businessman who's only interested in lining his own pockets. At least that's what the media would have you believe. There is actually much more to this story that needs to be said. And in my opinion, Shkreli is being subject to a vindictive PR campaign, a smear campaign by rival pharma, pharma companies, politicians, and the media to fool us into thinking he is against our best interests. When in fact, all he's doing is hurting large conglomerates who have been uh, quietly getting away with all these price hikes for many years successfully under the radar. It's understandable why they may be nervous about the gravy train finally coming to an end. Could it be that the only difference between Shkreli and other CEOs of pharma companies is that he enjoys the limelight? It's fair to say that Shkreli has been far from shy across his social media channels and has gained a cult following in the process. You're a god, wrote one of his Twitter followers. And during a recent hearing before the House Oversight Committee, he went on to call uh, his congressional examiners imbeciles for questioning his motives behind the price increase. The furore surrounding Shkreli has been lapped up by the man at the center of it all, and each day he responds to predictable levels of abuse online with his own unique style, once tweeting, I've got anal AIDS. Good thing I've got a pill for it for $700. It's hard not to wonder who hates him more though. The public who believe he's a blatant, unapologetic price gouger or rival executives for the increased awareness of their own policies regarding price hiking of drugs that he's now bringing to the global attention. The internet these days is a very powerful machine that can chew people up and spit them out as quickly as and as easily as uploading an uninformed, misleading post onto social media, which captures the attention of the masses. The truth about Shkreli is being deliberately hidden from you and needs to be told. So, I want to present an alternative version of facts that the media dare not reveal. Every morning, Shkreli walks past the Pfizer headquarters on his way to work. His apartment is just a stone's throw away from the hub of operations of one of the world's biggest pharmaceutical companies that he says in his typical controversial style is full of shit and hypocritical. It's hard not to understand why Shkreli appears frustrated by the selective outrage being directed at him, especially when Daraprim represents just 0.01% of the healthcare costs in the US. And just weeks ago, Pfizer raised the price of over 100 of their own drugs quietly whilst cutting billions of pounds into research and development year on year. In stark contrast to Shkreli, who openly admits this is where most of his profits are being reinvested. The fact is, it's only a very small market that will end up paying for Shkreli's drugs at a premium. In fact, Shkreli admits to giving away up to 70% of his drugs for free. And Shkreli says that people without insurance will only have to pay $1 a pill. For everyone else, insurance companies and the large corporations such as Walmart, uh, which he argues is paid for by corporate America's profits, they will cover the uh, cost and have to understandably pay a premium for it. With this in mind, why are people getting so worked up about a man who wants to charge huge corporations making vast profits a premium? Why are we not defending him for taking a stand against the very corporations who have been ripping us off for years? Why would he sell a drug to a company who will only increase the price themselves and profit on, off the back of it when in fact he can charge them a premium and reinvest those, that money into uh, more development and research? Shkreli admits to being a modern day Robin Hood and is unapologetic when it comes to defending his decision to charge companies full price for his drugs. Fuck them. If I take their money and use it for research and dying kids, I think I'm a hero. Let alone evil, he said. Many would argue that by charging insurance companies a premium for the drugs, the cost will only end up increasing premiums for all insurance holders over the long run. The facts are that drugs costs in an industry that is worth over 500 billion only represent a very small portion of the overall bill. 
And even the most popular drugs cannot influence the cost of healthcare premiums. 80% of insurance payouts are for doctors, physicians and hospital fees. The drugs manufacturers clearly take the brunt of blame uh, when it comes to rising healthcare costs and they are almost facing a no-win situation. They either give the drugs away for free and go bankrupt or they charge money for it and uh, get called evil. Uh, Shkreli is certainly not the first person to increase the price of drugs and will not be the last. He is not a charity after all and ultimately he's not doing anything illegal. I understand that we are talking about a product that can uh, prolong or ultimately save people's lives in some cases and companies that produce these types of products do have a moral responsibility. But in the grand scheme of things this has been blown way out of proportion. The reality is the increase of price is completely irrelevant and will not affect anyone who actually needs the drugs. They will still be freely available to them without cost. I understand that Shkreli has made himself an easy target with his flamboyant personality and online outbursts, but he is really such a small fish in a very big dirty pond and it's the hospitals and doctors who charge for their services who are the biggest problem in this very corrupt industry where ultimately the victims pay a much higher price. Where is the outrage for a childbirth bill of $42,000 or a $55,000 bill for an appendicitis operation? These ludicrous bills are happening every day across the US and yet nobody questions it. I happen to like Shkreli despite his admittedly punchable face. The irony is that he's brought much needed attention onto an industry that has been rampantly corrupt for decades and it's about time questions were asked to those who have been taking advantage of the system for so many years.